Hello once again! To begin making a cloud, I'm going to first create a sphere, and then lower all the subdivisions. Then I'm going to stretch it out using the scale tool. Next, using the target weld tool, I'm going to lower the amount of polygons I have to deal with. Then I'm just going to reposition some of the vertices on the cloud to create some sort of randomised shape. I continue to use the target weld tool to reduce some of the polygons, but I also use the connect tool to make more when I have too little to work with. When I am happy with the shape, I select a group of faces and extrude them out and reposition them. And then I adjust the new section using the multi-cut, target weld and connect tools. I adjust it, and then I repeat the process with another group of faces. This gives a nice sort of bubbling effect for our cloud, and I continue to adjust to ensure that this bubbling effect looks believable in the sort of low poly form we have going. To make sure the surface of this object doesn't look too broken, what I've done is I've selected all of the edges and hardened them. Now that I am happy with this, I duplicate it. I select everything but one of the bubbles and delete it. And then I select all of the edges in this open hole and use the bridge tool to seal it. Next I use the multi-cut tool to create multiple faces on this new singular one. Using similar methods to the one we did on the first cloud, I create another smaller cloud out of this object. Now I reposition, resize and duplicate to create multiple smaller clouds. I take one of these duplicates and use the smooth tool on it to add more polygons to it. Using similar methods and the soft selection tool, I adjust this to create another cloud variant. I duplicate the smaller cloud again and position some of them around this new cloud. For effect, I apply a new translucent material to these clouds. I hope this has been useful and I'd like to thank you again for watching.